Today on Science Explained, we learn how a potato can be used as a battery. The potato battery is a type of battery known as an electrochemical cell. An electrochemical cell converts chemical energy to electrical energy by the movement of electrons. In our experiment, the potato acts as a buffer or an electrolyte. Electrical energy is generated by two chemical reactions that happen at the electrodes. Our electrodes are the galvanised nail and our copper coin. This is because our potatoes are slightly acidic and react with the metals releasing electrons. The copper attracts electrons to it more easily than zinc, causing the electrons in the potato battery to flow from the zinc electrode, also called the anode, to the copper electrode, also known as the cathode. At the zinc electrode, positively charged hydrogen atoms and electrons are produced from an oxidation reaction with the potato. The electrons travel along the zinc nail through the wires to the copper coin. These positive hydrogen atoms left behind are attracted to the copper electrode with all the electrons. These hydrogen atoms then absorb an electron from the copper electrode in a reduction reaction and become neutral hydrogen gas. You might see this as a slight fizzing around the copper cathode in your potato. This reaction reduces the number of electrons at the copper electrode, causing more electrons to flow from the zinc electrode to the copper one. This cycle completes the circuit and can generate electrical energy. The net reaction of these chemical reactions is shown here. We hope you have enjoyed this Science Explained video. If you'd like to learn more, why not try out another one of our experiments?